morning guys <laughs> welcome back to another vlogmas christmas in new york <laughs> so my last vlog that i shared uh well i would be sharing it today thursday i really really loved going to the rockets just unexpectedly i thought that was just so fun so today is thursday and it's basically like my friday because i'm actually taking off tomorrow because I'm going to go uptown and do another <laughs> vlogmas with you. But I'm just getting ready this morning. I am trying to be a little bit festive every day just to, I don't know, it really just makes myself happy and like exciting and feeling like I'm actually getting into the Christmas spirit as opposed to just kind of like wah wah going about my day. So I put in the little white bow. I'm wearing the H&M sweater tank top that I shared on yesterday's vlog and every morning I've also been trying to put on a red lipstick and actually wanted to tell you what my favorite holiday reds were I have let's see three I have four favorite holiday red lipsticks to start with my first favorite is this one here. This is Sephora Always Red. This is a liquid lip. So it has this little doe foot applicator. I liked this. Um, this was like a red that I actually went into Sephora and I asked them to find a red that was specifically this color. I basically brought in a picture of Blake Lively with a red lip and I was like, oh, I want one that was this color. And um, she recommended this. So I've been using this for actually since I moved to New York. So I love this one, Sephora Always Red. This is also just like, I guess, a classic red color. The next one is one that I actually just got like last weekend. And this is also a classic red holiday lip. This is Rouge Dior 999. So it looks like this. And I would say, yeah, this is like a red, red holiday red to move it to show you, but this is the color, just like a very, I guess, holiday red, like a sophisticated lady red. And I love how the Dior lipsticks are so just velvety and they always have that like engravement on there. It's just so classic. I bought this in Bloomingdale's and when I was talking to the woman, she said that they sell it in a more matte formula, a more satin, like shiny like a glossy formula not glossy but just like a shiny formula and then this one is the in-between it's like a hybrid between those two so I was like oh I'll go for that one and she was like oh that's actually the last one and I was like yay <laughs> not that I, I mean I don't know it just makes me feel like oh I did the right I'm deciding on the right thing because clearly it's a popular one so this is the one I'm going to apply this morning and just be really festive <laughs> so I really like that one very, very holiday. And then, of course, I have my Petal Bouche from Violette FR. This one is more of a black red. So she described this as she had seen this beautiful rose in this garden in Paris. And it was like a deep, just like black rose that was just like the color was so romantic and beautiful. And so she made this. And this is, I'm not going to lie, extremely pigmented, like all of her makeup but it is lovely and it lasts a long time and then the last one is more of an orange red which I feel like can also be very fun and very flattering also very festive for the holidays I wore this over the weekend walking around shopping in Soho with my bright pink jacket and I got so many compliments on it so I really love this this is um, from rare beauty it is the color inspire <laughs> so that was very cute as well and we're ready for the day making our christmas memories i've been working so much lately i can barely find the time to sleep yeah, spend my time running around, keeping people... All right, time for the advent calendar. I didn't vlog yesterday, actually, because the night that I did the Rockettes, I was out really late. And when I came back, I tried to wake up that morning and vlog, and I had such a busy day with work that I couldn't really do it. So needless to say, so yesterday was the 8th, and I ate that one. It was just another little chocolate square. 
And then the ninth is today. So, oh, nine right here. All right. Ooh. Oh, it's like a gummy. Ooh, that's so cool. So it's like, oh, I love water. Right? It's like our candies are so fancy. And now that I've already eaten my breakfast this morning, I'm going to eat this. Oh my gosh. It's actually not a gummy. It's really good. It's almost almondy. I'm sure if someone's French, maybe they know what this is. Nice. <laughs> oh, please. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year. Alright, so I've been doing some work. I'm going to make myself a hot chocolate. I have this little bag here of drinking chocolate is what it's called. And what you do is basically bring some milk to the simmer. And I'm using almond milk and a little bit of water because I didn't have enough <laughs> almond milk. And then just two or three tablespoons of this drinking chocolate. And it's basically cacao and cane sugar is all that it is. So obviously cacao is pretty good for you. Looks like it actually is at a simmer now, so I'm going to add this in. Ah, uh, it smells so lovely. I wish you could smell this. And I have this mug. It's so cute. It looks like this. It says winter wishes and it's pink with these pretty little Christmas trees on it and some holly and some little fun festive things. But I just thought that it was so cute and so me. So I am not a coffee drinker, but I am for sure a hot chocolate drinker. I'm going to stir it up with a little candy cane. Peppermint flavor. Ah, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. That is like Christmas in a cup. Wow. I think I'm going to literally just break that off and drop that in there for the flavor. So quick change, I have been working very hard <laughs> this morning, so I'm just going to run outside. I have a couple errands I need to run. Basically, I brought a dress to a tailor that I need to get a button sewed back onto it, so I need to pick that up. And then also, I need to go to Loeffler Randall because my <laughs> my mom wants to buy me these shoes from Loeffler Randall for Christmas, and she's worried about the shipping 
um, them coming in on time. So she was like, can you just buy them and then I'll reimburse you and we'll put them under the tree. I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I've been meaning to go over there and to just buy them, which I probably should sooner rather than later since their stuff tends to sell out like that sparkly purse. Uh, so yeah, so I just threw on the cardigan that I just got from H&M. My little sink, <laughs> sink, pink Saison pants. That's what I meant. And then my little Lafleur Randall belly flats. So, oh, and I need to reapply my lipstick. now I have wrapped up work. Today is December 9th which means that the Sex and the City reboot just went live on HBO Max <laughs> and obviously being a New York City girl and just loving things like that all about the city I love Sex and the City and I have been waiting for the new reboot to premiere it's called and just like that I didn't have HBO but now I do so I guess this is kind of how they do it is to be smart they probably negotiated and I bet a lot of people are signing up for HBO Max now oh, I was definitely one of those suckers <laughs> but anyways yeah so I'm going to watch that and I think the rest of this night is pretty much going to be like premiering this show uh, I feel like this is just really exciting. So yeah, I'm going to watch this. I don't have anything to eat for dinner, so maybe I'll order some dinner too. It's a cozy night in on the pink couch to myself watching them premiere. first episode and I'm going to say like a really quick thing about it but I just want to put here now that if you're if you haven't watched it yet and you're planning to watch it maybe skip through this part I'll put a timestamp right on the screen here for when I stop talking about it so I'm just gonna pause now so that you can you know no spoilers but um <laughs> I uh liked it I 
think. <laughs> it just felt like a completely different show. It didn't have the same feel as the original show did, although I understand because the actors are grown up now. They're much older. They're not in their 30s like they were when the show first aired. It's like they have kids now, they're older, and they're dealing with different things, and also the world has changed, so I don't know. I don't know what I expected. I guess I just kind of expected them to be in the same kind of world, not really in like the actual world that we're in, like they were talking about COVID, everything else that's been kind of like going on in the world these last couple years, and I thought that was fine. There was... It wasn't as funny, I guess, as the original show was. There was more serious moments. And, um, I don't know, the outfits were good. I liked the fashion. I thought they all looked good. And then, like, a huge moment at the end of the first episode. Like, completely unexpected. Very sad. So, I'm going to watch the next episode. I guess maybe I'll update you guys once I watch more episodes how I feel, but... But anyways, yeah, just going to watch more episodes and just enjoy some downtime. All right, so watch the second episode and now I've just been editing my vlog and I'm going to upload it and just pretty much go to bed. I think just boring stuff from here. I'm going to do my dishes, clean up my room a little bit and then make a plan for tomorrow. So this vlog will be going up tomorrow on Friday. And then the next vlog that you'll see will be on Monday, which will be the weekend vlog. So I think what I'm going to be doing with these vlogmases is putting up as many videos as I can manage during the work week and then still doing my same weekend vlog. So I won't be uploading on on Saturday and on Sunday it'll just be the weekend and upload on Monday so the Mondays will be like the big long kind of main weekend vlogs that I always do you'll probably see the weekend vlog on Monday and then the, the video that I'm filming tomorrow on my day off I will maybe post on like Tuesday or something we'll see I'm not I'm still not exactly sure how I'm going to do it I just know that I want to go uptown and to you guys to see all of the main like New York City Christmas time attractions um, same as I did last year which I will <laughs> put a link up above to that video from last year if you um, didn't see it but yeah that is pretty much it for me for tonight I really hope that you enjoy enjoyed this video and that you are enjoying this vlogmas month uh, it's so crazy um, <laughs> And definitely don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss a video because now I'm posting more frequently. If you're not subscribed, you might not know that I posted a video because it's more than my usual schedule. So definitely subscribe if, you, if you've been lingering and you haven't pushed the button yet. Push the button, please. <laughs> please push the button. <laughs> um, but yes, only if you want to. <laughs> and yeah, follow the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram. And hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye.